We are going to continue with the Woodstock Roundtable. Joe Riola, our co-host emeritus, Doug Grunthy, your host. And we welcome Mark Mazarin, who has played with members of some pretty cool bands, Kiss, Billy Joel, Quicksilver Messenger, Jefferson Airplane. How did this all start? Well, you know, um, Mazarin, the band, came together in uh, 1974 and uh, uh, formed, my, formed by my brother and I on Long Island. And as we started uh, our, our approach to playing 5,000 shows through the 80s and into the 90s, we basically played with everybody. Well, Long Island was just a hotbed of Thank music. You. Thank mean, you. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, give us, I mean, obviously Billy Joel's maybe the most right. famous, but who else? Oh, <clears throat> my goodness. Um, well, when, when we were growing up, um, we were about 10 years younger than, you know, people like mm-hmm. the Rascals. Um, mm. uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's great, Doug, that you say that because sometimes we get Long Island, we get, oh, Long Island, you know. But, you know, Long Island's like, it, it, it's like the size of a state, you know, in most places. And um, our influences came from people like uh, the Good Rats. And you're right, the Good Rats. Our father's place. That's right. We, and we played there many yeah, times. And Twisted Sister, you know, mm. great friends. I mean, <clears throat> these were the best. How can you not be great friends with Twisted Sister? Uh, they, you know what? They shepherded us. They were just great guys. Mm. You know, any of these bands that were eight or ten years older than us would just kind of, <laughs> kind of show us the ropes. And uh, the band had a great run. We worked with great producers. We had some great songs released. But what we've done now, um, we have a new record that's out, which is the first first recordings that we've done since our recordings with Roger Nichols, who was the legendary Steely Dan engineer producer who just passed away and um these tracks were produced by the bass player in our band scott durye um who is also a new york city fireman Uh, cool yeah and uh we've got two tracks um that i'd love to play for you sure and the first one um is kind of an irish folk song irish new york folk song we're calling it by a bunch of guys from long island Somehow get along Worked in a tavern in Gramercy Park Walked home all alone and left long after dark Husband named Tommy was killed out to sea In a war that was fought to keep Ireland And Molly, sweet Molly, raised five kids herself Ah, they never had money, but together had wealth So drink to your health, boys, and drink for lost love And drink for departing in heaven above But when you're all done and before you go home Please drink just one more for dear Molly Malone It seems God in his wisdom just would not provide Many as true as was Molly inside She always would smile and lend you an ear Oh, many's the problems of strangers she'd hear Drink for your sadness and drink for a smile Drink for true love even for a short while Drink for your neighbors and drink for your own But don't forget one for dear Molly Malone Where the years went by and the red hair turned gray But the fire and blue eyes, it never went away And the fall turned to winter and winter to spring But only in summer could you hear Molly say La 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 One night before closing, two men had a fight 
One raised a fist and the other a knife And Molly, dear Molly, tried to intervene And was killed by the blade as she stood in between So drink to the truth and to those who have lied And drink to the living and those who have died And drink to someone you might never have known Drink to the name of dear Molly Sweet Molly All right, Mark, back, sell that for us. Yeah, that was Molly Malone by Mazarin, and that was produced by Scott Durier. Hey, Scotty. Not too many rock and rollers are into bagpipes. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that came about, Scott was producing, and, you know, the, these things come about because somebody takes the, takes charge, takes the lead. Where do you, where do you find a bagpipe player? Uh, ah. Craigslist? Where do you go? Actually... You find a bagpipe player from the New York City Fire Department marching band. Cool. Yeah, and um, that's that song is going to be featured in a documentary coming out this fall about the uh, hundred-year history of the marching band for the New York City Fire Department. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> the second piece you brought for us, you say, is a pretty heavy-duty political <laughs> piece. We are a little. We don't always like to get into politics. Well, Joe does. But uh, what are you? What are you, you going to get us fired up about here? Well, um, <laughs> this is Donnie, and if you're uh, around a volume control, turn it up. Wake up on <laughs> Sunday morning, and well, enjoy. That there are known knowns. There are things we know that we know. There are known unknowns. That is to say, there are things that we now know we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns.
Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Did we just hear a rock and roll song about Donald Rumsfeld? You did, buddy. <laughs> you cool. <laughs> That's got to be the first rock and roll song about Donald Rumsfeld. Long overdue. My brother yeah. Doug wrote that. It's that's a good great. one. I, I think. And who, like, a, that guitar uh, break was oh, awesome. It's, that's Elliot Negrin, yeah. Woo! original Mazarin player. That uh, had some energy. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Rumsfeld never sounded so good. Uh, <laughs> I love the tune, man. The band is Mazarin. Yep. Playing how long now you've been together? 30-something years. Mm, that song's out on iTunes today, by the way. Don, wow. Just today. Donnie, thank mm. you. Donnie uh, was released on iTunes today. Mazarin Donnie. 